The Cabinet came back to work this morning. Can £60 billion pounds worth of cuts be found? With that question hanging over them. Inside, the talk was allegedly of the benefits of the government's growth plan. In the real world, the Bank of England had to step in for the third time to try to stabilise the financial markets. Quite a backdrop for the Chancellor's first date with MPs since the mini-budget. This is a British crisis made in Downing Street. Are the Chancellor and the Prime Minister the last people left on earth who actually think that their plan is working? It's very clear where we stand on this. We've got pro-growth, pro-enterprise, pro-business, yeah. uh, Conservatives on one side and the anti-growth coalition yeah. on the other side yeah. who want to tax more and want to ha commit us to low growth. The government wants to frame it as us against them, but this warning shot was from their own side. Confirm to this House that uh, the government will not balance the forthcoming tax cuts on the back of the poorest people in our country. The Chancellor hasn't made clear where the cuts will fall, and this independent think tank believes he faces no easy choices. He says he wants to get debt down, and yet he's just cut taxes by more than... £40 billion. The, uh, the economy is slowing quite badly on the basis of some fairly uh, middle-of-the-road economic forecasts. We think he's going to need to cut spending if he doesn't increase those taxes again by 50, maybe even £60 billion into the medium run. Now, that's an enormous reduction. So what departments could be targeted? The NHS is the largest budget, but cutting that is not realistic. The government has committed to increase spending on defence, which leaves other areas like welfare and education looking vulnerable again. George Cavendish is already struggling to look after her children on her existing level of benefits. I've given up um, hobbies. I used to play wheelchair basketball, but I couldn't justify the expense when, on the other hand, I'm, you know, having to make sure that the children are all getting decent, healthy meals. Tonight, the Chancellor is flying to Washington, where the International Monetary Fund said today his policies risked fueling inflation. With the Bank of England's intervention in the markets due to end on Friday, he's a man with a lot of reassuring to do, both at home and abroad. Romilly Weeks, ITV News.